Hello, my name is Vince Farrell and I'm a senior applications engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I want to show you how to use configurations and weldments. I have a work table that I've already designed and I need to add holes to the top of the frame to mount the tabletop. I know that I'm going to put these holes in after the frame has been welded together to account for any tolerance stack up or machining warpage. First, I'm going to switch over to the configurations manager. Here, I can see that when I created my weldment, SOLIDWORKS created a configuration called as machined and a derived configuration under that called as welded. You can switch between active configurations by double clicking on them. These will be important when I add the holes. Switching back to the feature manager tree, I can see up at the top that I'm in the as machined configuration. I created a sketch for the hole pattern here. I'll select the top face and activate the hole wizard. I'm going to use half inch 20 tapped holes with the up to next end condition so that they only go through the top of the beams. I'll pick the corners of the rectangle for my holes and click OK. Then I'll hide that layout sketch. Switching back to the configuration manager, I'll toggle between the two configurations. Since the as welded one is derived, any change made in the top configuration will be shown in this one by default. However, if I make a change in the derived configuration, it won't be shown in the top one automatically. I'll switch back to the feature manager tree, right click on the holes I just added and select configure feature. This brings up a table with a column that allows me to suppress the feature for certain configurations. I'll check it on for the as welded configuration. Now, when I switch between the two, I can see that the holes are only in the as machine configuration. Now that this is done, I'll create a drawing. I'll show an isometric view of the as welded configuration. I can switch the active configuration here in the property manager for the view. I'll create a new sheet and then drag in a top view of the weldment, this time using the as machine configuration. Now the holes are visible and I can add dimensions to them. Hopefully this video showed you configurations and weldments and how to use them. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel for more videos like this and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.